How much does the stuff we own own us in return? It's a question that might tickle the corners of your mind as you navigate through the labyrinth of life. Constantly bombarded by the societal emphasis on material possessions, it's a world that often equates success with the quantity and quality of stuff we own. The bigger the house, the shinier the car, the larger the TV, the better, right? But is this the true measure of success and happiness? In the pursuit of this materialistic ideal, we're often caught in a vicious cycle of consumerism. We're encouraged, sometimes pressured, to accumulate more and then some more, until our lives become cluttered with things we don't need and maybe don't even want. And this clutter isn't just physical, it's mental too. It's the stress of managing all these possessions, the financial strain of keeping up with the Joneses. It's the constant desire for the new and the shiny and the dissatisfaction when the sheen wears off. But what if there's another way, a different approach to life and happiness? What if we told you that less could indeed be more? That decluttering your life can lead to a richer, more fulfilling existence. This is where the concept of minimalism comes into play. Minimalism isn't about depriving yourself. It's about making intentional choices about what you bring into your life and what you choose to let go. It's about shifting the focus from possessions to experiences, from the material to the immaterial. It's about finding joy not in things, but in relationships, in moments, in living a life that's aligned with your values and passions. In a world that's constantly screaming more, minimalism quietly whispers enough. It's a gentle rebellion against the materialistic conundrum, a beacon of hope in a sea of clutter. So is there a different way to live, one that values experiences over possessions? Enter minimalism. Minimalism, it's more than just a buzzword, but what does it genuinely mean? Let's dive in. Minimalism is a lifestyle that encourages us to question what things truly add value to our lives. It's about recognizing that the best things in life aren't things at all. Now don't get me wrong, minimalism isn't about deprivation or living with the bare minimum. It's not about swapping a mansion for a tiny house or a wardrobe full of clothes for a capsule wardrobe unless these changes genuinely add value to your life. You see, every item we own, every commitment we make, and every task we undertake takes up a piece of our time, energy, and mental space. Minimalism is about making conscious choices about what we allow into our lives. It's about removing the excess, the clutter, the distractions to make room for what's truly important. Imagine a life with less, less stress, less debt, less dissatisfaction. Now imagine a life with more, more time, more peace, more satisfaction. That's the heart of minimalism, the delicate balance between less and more. Minimalism is not one size fits all. It looks different for everyone because it's a deeply personal journey. For one person, minimalism might mean decluttering their home. For another, it could mean quitting a high stress job to pursue a passion. It's not about following a strict set of rules, but about finding what works for you. It's about understanding that the pursuit of possessions often leads to a feeling of emptiness and that happiness does not come from stuff, but from relationships, experiences, and personal growth. So minimalism is not about owning less just for the sake of owning less. It's about making space in your life for more of what you love, more time for relationships, more money for experiences, more energy for passions, more peace and contentment. In essence, minimalism is about owning less to live more. So what are the benefits of owning less and embracing minimalism? Let's dive in. First and foremost, owning less means less clutter. A clean, uncluttered space is not just visually appealing, it's liberating. It gives you room to breathe, to think, to create. It's like taking a deep breath of fresh air after being in a stuffy room. Your environment becomes a reflection of a clear, focused mind. Less clutter also means less stress. No more frantic searches for misplaced items. No more feeling overwhelmed by a mountain of stuff. The relief that comes from simply knowing where everything is, is immeasurable. You're no longer a slave to your possessions. Instead, you're in control. And speaking of control, owning less gives you more freedom. Freedom from the constant need to acquire, to upgrade, to keep up with the Joneses. It frees you from the chains of consumerism and allows you to focus on what's truly important. Experiences, relationships, personal growth. Now think about this. What could you do with more time? Time saved from cleaning, organizing, and maintaining stuff can be redirected towards meaningful activities. Read that book you've been meaning to get to, learn a new skill, spend more time with loved ones. Owning less gifts you this invaluable commodity, and let's not forget about financial stability. The less you buy, the less you spend, and the more you save. It's simple math, really. But 
The impact on your financial health can be profound. You can pay off debts faster, save more for retirement, or even splurge on that dream vacation. Owning less doesn't mean living less. Quite the contrary, it often means living more abundantly. So you see, less physical clutter can lead to less mental clutter. This can improve focus, enhance creativity, and promote peace of mind. It's like hitting a reset button on your life, allowing you to live with intention, purpose, and serenity. Owning less isn't about sacrifice. It's about gaining more of what truly matters. Sounds intriguing. Wondering how to start your minimalism journey. Starting your journey into minimalism doesn't have to be overwhelming or intimidating. It's all about taking small, manageable steps to gradually shift your mindset and habits. Firstly, decluttering is a great place to start. Try removing one item a day from your life. This could be anything from a piece of clothing you haven't worn in a year, a kitchen gadget gathering dust, or an old magazine you've already read. You'll soon realize how much stuff you own that you don't really need or use. Secondly, start questioning your purchases. Before buying something new, ask yourself, do I really need this? Will it add value to my life? Can I live without it? If the answer to any of these questions is no, then perhaps it's not a necessary purchase. This not only helps you to own less, but also saves you money and reduces waste. Next, focus on quality over quantity. Instead of having 10 cheap shirts that wear out quickly, invest in two or three high quality shirts that will last longer. This principle applies to everything from your wardrobe to your kitchen utensils. Remember, minimalism is not about deprivation, it's about appreciating and making the most out of what you have. Lastly, think about the purpose and value of each possession. Every item you own should serve a purpose or bring joy. If it doesn't, then it might be time to let it go. This can be a challenging step, but it's an essential part of embracing minimalism. These are just a few practical tips to help you start your minimalism journey. The key is to take it slow and steady and not to compare your journey with others. Your minimalism will look different from someone else's, and that's perfectly okay. Remember, minimalism is a journey, not a destination. It's about making intentional decisions, one step at a time. So what's the takeaway from all this talk about minimalism and owning less? First and foremost, it's crucial to remember that minimalism is not about deprivation. It's not about empty rooms and bare walls. It's not about living without. Rather, it's about living with intention and purpose. It's about clearing the clutter, both physical and mental, to make space for what truly matters. We've discussed the materialistic conundrum that many of us face, the desire for more and more, and how it often leads to stress and dissatisfaction. We've delved into the concept of minimalism, the idea of less is more, and the many benefits it brings. Owning less means less to clean, less to organize, less to worry about. It's about freedom, simplicity, and focus. The goal of minimalism is not to own a certain number of items. It's about making conscious decisions about what to include in your life and what to leave out. It's about focusing on experiences over possessions, the joy of a sunset, the thrill of a new city, the warmth of a shared meal. These are the things that make life rich and fulfilling, not the latest gadget or fashion trend. Minimalism is a journey, not a destination. It's a process of continual refinement, of deciding again and again what is essential and what is not. And remember, there's no one size fits all approach. What works for one person may not work for another. It's about finding what works best for you. Embracing minimalism doesn't mean you have to give up everything you love. It just means making space for what you love most. It's about living more with less, about finding joy and fulfillment not in things, but in life itself. In the end, it's not about how much we own, but how much we live. That's the essence of minimalism.